but today I want to open some and I want to reveal to you exactly what I had thrifted. Okay, so let's get started. So the first doll um, thrifted this eBay, um, this gorgeous uh, vintage ballerina gown. And if you ever get a chance to um, collect this, it is the ballerina uh, that came out from Mattel came out in about 1975 and 1976 and can you see it says YKK it was made with the YKK zipper so it's really really um, well made and very sturdy and the detail is unbelievable but anyhow um, in my thrift I had thrifted this doll I was so excited it was $3.99 and guess what it's a vintage ballerina 1975-1976 doll. So I'm going to open it, debag it, and show you. So I'm going to take that outfit, which actually belongs to this doll. And with this doll that I thrifted, I was excited about it. Why? Because she still had her uh, ballerina crown. So look at this. Okay, she's a nude doll, but this doll was made really well. It's on a twist and turn body. She's in really great shape. I'm going to have to do a little cleaning on her. Her toes are all there. And look at this. Look, her crown is still there. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at her beautiful face. A bit dirty, but I love the blue, baby blue eyeliner. So glad to have found that for $3.99. She still has a little band in her hair, and I love that. Her hair has retained the shape and she's retained the original crown. So ecstatic to add her to my vintage collection. Okay, so I'm just going to put them down there. And look what I have here, here. So here's another one that I thrifted. Oh my God. Do you know who this is? This is the, um, another Cindy find that I had found. Oh my God, I was so ecstatic. I can't believe I found her. Now, I only have about, how many Cindy dolls? Um, I only have about two or three Cindy dolls in my collection. But I wanted to open her. She's beautiful. Look at her. Oh my God, she's got that sweet, innocent face. I love how, see her eyebrows? How they're just kind of like stroked on, very dainty. Look at her eyelashes. The eyelashes have been retained. And she's got the most sweet, innocent face. This is one of the most popular um, dolls that sold in Britain. And see, look at the back. There you go. How can you tell it's an original Cindy doll? There's a logo. It says Cindy. And it's got the 033055X on the back of her neck. Her neck is kind of like on a round ball. Ball contraption the way it moves see that and the way it moves side to side and this doll is the most adorable beautiful doll I love the rubber the feel of her arms and I was and look what she came and someone actually knitted her a pretty little homemade dress isn't she adorable so I was ecstatic to find her because she's kind of gorgeous look at her hair all her hair plugs are there, I hope. So, look at, the, look at her. Oh my God, so ecstatic to find. Look at her face. Look at her lips. Isn't she gorgeous? And here she is. And there's her feet. She's a little scruffy because she's thrifted. She's got a little mark there, but I'm going to see what I can do about that. But still, all in all, I'm glad to have thrifted her. Okay, now let's get on. Let's find out. Um, let me pull into view this doll. So this doll here, I thrifted for $3.99. I thrifted her. I don't. I haven't seen her actually, but I wanted to show you. I've got so many thrifts to open for you, Barbie Rockers. But here we are. She's gorgeous, isn't she? Look at her. So let me try and hold her up. There's her beautiful face. And there's her gorgeous gown that caught my eye and look at that look at the gown she this gown is just it's a gorgeous doll isn't she gorgeous she's got angel wings on 
so I really love this doll. Okay, that looks, that, look at that. It's got little clips on her, her gown. What does it say on the back of the neck? Um, 1991 Mattel. So I thought she was a really gorgeous uh, thrift. Isn't she gorgeous? Okay, so I picked up that one. So I'm going to show you a, a lot of different dolls that I picked up. Okay, let's go for these these ones that are sitting here. These ones are 9-inch Winx dolls. I, They are so, so gorgeous. I When I saw them on the... Um, at the store, I just fell in love with these Winx dolls. I don't really collect Winx, but for some reason, these four captured me. The plastic or the vinyl that they use is great quality. And there's their face. It, there's their legs. They're a little bit thinner. And, and there's their feet. And it's all actually rubberized. And the way it bends in, it's not a clicking action. It's just more like like it's just one motion so and look at her hands so these four look at her beautiful face now let me show you the other three that i found so here's another one that i have found the hair quality is gorgeous on these nine inch wink series and um the wink series there's uh, stella flora techna musa and Layla. i don't really collect them so I just collected these four in my collection I've, and um, looks like they're in not bad shape looks like there's a wire there or something sharp see that but look at look at she came with this dress look at her face just let me do a close-up look how beautiful her face is she's got the rooted eyelashes in there and her hair is so luxurious and soft so she is a beauty. Okay, so that was the second one. So I'm just going to pile the ones that I opened up there. And then here are two more dolls that I wanted to show everybody. And they are Winx dolls too. So I was lucky to find four of them all at once. It may have been somebody's little collection. I paid, you know how much I paid for them? $1.99. So basically I paid 99 cents for these. And they are gorgeous. Look at her. Look at her hair. She can use a hot hot water boil treatment to fix her hair up. But look at her face. She's just really adorable and gorgeous. And there's her lean hands and the way the fingertips were. It's very pliable, soft vinyl. You see how soft that is? And there's her beautiful legs. And there's the outfit she came in. And here's another one. So aren't they gorgeous? You know, with a little TLC, and I can bring them up to snuff. And this one here, again, um, these 9-inch dolls all have rooted eyelashes. But they're very, very um, miniature. They're a lot smaller, but glad to have thrifted them. The Winx series. Okay, this is another doll I wanted to show everybody that I thrifted. She almost, when I saw her, she was really, really thick and really, really heavy. Like, she's like a gem doll weight. I really didn't know about gem dolls, but then um, when I stumbled on, on them, I didn't pick them up. I And then when I started looking at the collection of gem dolls, I kind of fell in love with gem dolls. I love the way um, who the creator of gem dolls, but she is similar to a gem doll. She's very thick, very heavy. Look how thick her legs are. They're all rubberized. They bend with a clicking motion. She is a solid doll. So I looked her up on the back of her neck has um, the markings that say GMFGI Hong Kong Kenner. So this doll is a different uh, doll make doll make from Kenner. It's the GMFGI and I think Hong Kong made them and they were called Darcy dolls. So I'm not sure if she is a Darcy, Darcy doll, but however, this, this line of doll make from Hong Kong is really quite gorgeous. Look, look at the face close up. Look at the detail. Look at the eye, eyebrow strokes and look at her mouth. So she's a vintage doll. She's got um, bendable action on the arms and it's not clicking motion. It's like a Winx doll and the wrist has a motion on there. She's a really big, thick doll. Like she's solid heavy. And there's her feet. 
and there's the bottom the bottom has holes it needs a little TLC but let me show you from this doll compared to a Barbie like she's really thick look how big her face is she's like a gem doll stature so see see the difference and see how big her feet are okay so that's another doll um, I want to show you some more dolls and she also came with this dress when I thrifted her and it's got little clasps there it's really really in rough shape so this needs to be washed so that that came with the, this doll here from Kenner but a, a good I don't know it's my first doll in this line but glad to have thrifted her okay let me uh, pull into some randomly just pull some dolls that I had thrifted um, so look at this I found this one here so, so this thrift is all about my vintage um, older dolls but look at this I got a $4.99 and I found a Ken doll and uh, it came with that and the legs don't bend but I'm, I'm happy to thrift this too let's open them up I've never hardly ever do I ever come across a vintage Ken doll at my thrift shop but here he is so hit all the flocking is gone look at Ken's look that's the vintage Ken so it looks like just the eyebrows a little bit um, rubbed off. He needs a TLC and he needs to be cleaned up. But here he is. Not bad, eh? So let's take a, turn him around. Now, this first time I'm looking at this doll also. All the flocking is gone. And it says Ken, trademark. So this is an original Ken, but happy to have, to have thrifted this. Let's pull his shorts up. Okay, so he's got it. Nice pair of shorts on and ooh, really dirty, flat footed. See that? Okay, what does it say on the bottom of that? Oh, it's an original Ken because look, it says, I'll try and focus that for everybody, but if you can see the words Japan is written on the bottom of, of his feet. So yay, happy to have thrifted him for a whopping $4.99 great stuff Ken okay so there's another one that I thrifted um look at this this I'm, I'm more uh, opening just vintage dolls today but I've got a lot of dolls to open up for all you Barbie rockers but I thrifted her because I'm um, I like the vintage look of this one I don't know which Barbie line she's from um, let me see I thrifted her for $3.99 um, her hair is in great condition so soft her elastic looks like it's just been broken, but here we are. There's her, um, there's her face. Let's see what the data on the face mold of this doll is. Um, this one says 1976 face mold. So it's a 1976 face mold. I don't know what year the Barbie actually is, but um, this outfit might give it away. So it's got strawberries. And it's got a little cute little skirt and there is the doll and it's got white undies on so um, I just like the look of this vintage doll and I'll show you the face close up Isn't she gorgeous okay so, so this is my last doll here she is before the 15 mark comes up but look look this is Ariel look at her luscious hair look how beautiful her face is isn't she gorgeous? She doesn't have a top on, but look, she's got her mer mermaid um, fins on, and look, her legs bend. And she's a newer doll, because look at her hands. But isn't, that, isn't she gorgeous? Great hair. So I'm going to add her to my Disney collection. Okay, so um, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm going to say good night. Have a wonderful day evening and like share and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos bye for now